originally met him about six or seven years ago in Mount Shasta and have worked with him personally, had some clearing work done. Um, Ron has an unparalleled understanding of extraterrestrials' involvement with us, and he also does cloning work with the military. It's very fascinating. Um, while helping us uh, complement comprehend the situation, he offers also really effective solutions. Um, he is the conduit for CLS, Specialized In-Depth Interactive Clearings and Healings. It's also offered online. And he's also the host of a groundbreaking show on bbsradio.com. Give us a warm Conscious Life Expo welcome to Ron Amatron. Okay, so how many of you have heard my workshops or lectures in the past? Okay, so you're, okay, great. Then you're kind of a little more grounded in what I do here. So basically, what I am is a light being. I don't incarnate. I don't live in your time reality. I live in source energy, which is out of time. And I'm always in the now. That's why I had to ask the gentleman here to see his little flyer to see what I'm doing today. Because I don't, I don't have any recall of memory probably after five minutes. I have to really go fishing for it if I need to find out what I'm doing. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, decloning people. All of you will have experience with that. Uh, some background information here. The, the light, people don't know what the light is, okay? The light is source energy. It's peace. It's in your heart center. It's with your spirit. And what happened was the darkness brought in mind energy here. The darkness is, is the alien agenda that's here that you cannot see. Although you can see them now up in the clouds, which are the flat bottom ship clouds. Those are alien craft that are cloaked inside of a cloud. So just outside of our visual reality, but the cloud happens to form around the ships. So we're here having a lot of mind control transmissions. I don't get involved with chemtrails. That's not my agenda. I'm here to help people to do the ascension process. But how do people ascend if they're clones? Okay, so what happens is you're living on maybe a thousand timelines at one time. The reality right now is that you think that you're here, this is your only life, but you're actually in multi-dimensional timelines. And they take a little piece of you from your initial spirit and your initial body, and then they can clone you as a human being. And then that replica is here, and you could be living like I said, thousands of lifetimes at once with the exact same scenario. So right away you might think, this sounds a little weird to me. So I'll say, okay, everybody's had deja vu, right? Deja vu is when you have a glimpse of what happened previously on a parallel timeline. So parallel life and a timeline is the same thing. Now if you ever uh, was driving your car and you missed a freeway on-ramp or off-ramp, Driving by it, didn't know what happened. You blame yourself that you're a stupid person. You should have took, taken it or whatever. You were abducted, and you weren't here, and you got beamed back down maybe five minutes later. So that's what happens, too. Whatever you have lost, like keys or a purse or anything like that, you actually have been abducted. And if you're lucky, you will go back to that same location and regain it and bring it back. So all of you probably have had that experience, too. You lose something, look all over the place for it. Wherever you put it, it's normally always there, but now it's not. Then it shows up a week later. And then you wonder what happened. Yes? Most people think that abduction is where the little green bed can grab you, take you to the wall, bring you up your You're talking about a different kind of abduction. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the people that are full quote uh, abductees, where they actually have full conscious awareness of that, uh, that's very sad, but that, that happens. That's just a few people. Just a few people have that experience. Okay, we actually know that you are taken. So what we're going to do now is uh, a timeline crash, and then we'll get into doing some decloning of people. So timeline crash is how they abduct you. They abduct you through physical pain, if you have any pain, and also they abduct you through your emotions. So whatever issue you have emotionally, they have a timeline for that. And the timelines can last between probably, when you crash them, between five minutes to about an hour. And everybody on that timeline that's suffering like you are with whatever you're going through is released from that timeline. So here we go. I'm going to count to ten to release a timeline and just see how your body feels because you're going to be taken off of a timeline. 
we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Anybody feel a little change in their body? Hmm. Do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Another timeline crash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Can anybody's body jerk or shift a little bit? Yours did. Okay. So you were just brought back here from a timeline. It's still there. So how does it work? Since the aliens are in control of time, okay, they can stop time, freeze time, just like on your DVD player, push the button to pause it. Then they rearrange everything to the way that they want it to be. And especially with you, they'll just freeze time, bring you back. Everybody else is in, in just frozen. They make you sit right on your seat, fix your hair, put the proper clothing on, then they start the movie again. So this is uh, hot, happening all the time to everybody. Anybody in here ever be, ever be driving your car and all of a sudden the car shows up next to you? You don't know where it came from? Okay? They just beamed either you in or they beamed that other vehicle in. Now if they beamed you in, you, you say, well gee, I saw you know, the stop signs in front of me, all the cars, what happened? Well they fabricated everything around you. So they take what you can see with your eyes and your basic senses and they fabricate that and that's what you're living in. And all these timelines of a thousand of these are basically the same. So do we have any volunteers for the audience to see them change as I do a de decloning process? Okay, if you want, you can come up here and maybe stand in front of me and we'll let the audience watch you physically change to become human. Yep. Yeah, and you, yeah, okay. You, maybe we'll do two groups. How about two groups? So, so what, maybe half, half of you can sit down. So that this is mainly for the audience to watch you. And that we'll do everybody in the room here, too. I'll, I'll do two groups, yeah. Hmm? Oh, you, you're good. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's okay. I can. No, no, you're good. Okay, here we go. So I want everybody to pick one person here, because you only really focus on one person, okay? And just pick one person and to look at, and you're going to watch them shift and change. The body might jerk. You might see them get taller, get shorter. You might see their clothes shift on their body a little bit, okay? Now when, they get, when we get done with this here, they're all going to be smiling. So look at their faces now, okay? And you might see people become uh, having a suntan or being pasty white. So this is for you guys to experience. Here we go. I'm going to take each clone out one at a time. So each time I take a clone out, they have to freeze time. So you're all now frozen. And then the alien race that's, that's making a clone of you has to bring a new one of these bodies in. So we can be turned off for, say, a week as they recreate the clothing. Okay? And also check out the clothing. Maybe the gentleman at the end here might have the t-shirt on and it might be slightly different, okay? Or maybe you might see that uh, somebody has wrinkled clothes now and now they're, they're, they're ironed. Okay? Yes? Um, I'm, I'm Just watch. Just watch. Where are they? You're controlled by timelines. And the aliens control you by their timelines. So I'm taking these people off of a timeline and we'll take out probably about 200 clones. Okay, I'm going to count to 10 each time and go up. Here we go. Ready? Just watch the people. See if they jerk or twist. One, clone out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Anybody see it shift in these people? Yeah. What did you see? Are they are they getting brighter? Okay, they're looking more human. Okay, here we go. I'll do uh, 100 more, then we'll make them human. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred. Here we go. Ready to come human? I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. There. How do they look? Okay. Now, now if you notice, if you're up here, are you all smiling? Okay. Now, do these people look like they're in a fishbowl to you? Look at them. Do they look like they're, they're, they're like a one-dimensional picture? Like you're watching a movie, that they're not real. Am I correct? Yes. Okay. Anybody in, up here standing have any other comments about what they've just experienced? I, I did feel some shifts in my body. Felt some shifts. Okay. All, all of your illnesses that you deal with is from clones. The original body is perfect. So you could have a backache, and you can be having all these clones coming into you, that have back aches. Get the clone released, your back pain goes away instantly because the clone was bringing it to you. Okay, so you see how they look? You see the, see the energy coming off these people now? You all see it, right? Okay, uh, second group, and then I'll do the, the whole audience, but I want everybody to kind of experience this here. Yeah, I can, I can watch it from here as they're standing up. The people up here, as you're sitting down, the people are glowing. You're glowing, yes. Hello? Hi? <laughs> okay, now this is for the other people to watch here. Want to go over this side? Over here? <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yes, I have a question. Why do the aliens want to do that? To get more mileage out of you. The, to get more mileage out of you. Remember that they need spirit energy. They're taking your source spirit energy to materialize the clones. Yes. And which aliens? Are which aliens? Uh, all the aliens that you've heard about are in duality because they're in the same boat that you're in. Okay, but there's thousands of aliens. But the ones that you hear about, people will say, oh, the Octarian's good or our, uh, you know, Pleiadian's good. But they're all aliens. They're all under mind control. Why are they under mind control? Because they're still in duality. Because they communicate with us through, through duality. In true light, there's no such thing as, as, as uh, like verbal communication or words or judgments. So it's all judgment energies, mind energy. And it deals with your mind as darkness. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. How are you guys feeling? Lighter. Lighter? Okay. Tingly? Giggly? Okay. Okay. 
warm. Okay, so, so what you're, what's happening right now to them is that since they have like half the clones in them, they're, they're becoming more human, okay? The replicas are leaving. Here we go, next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two hundred. Okay, ready to become human? Here we go. Count to five. One, two, three, four, and five. There. How do you people feel up here? Heart's beating faster? Okay. Lighter? Uh huh. So, do you people see the difference on them? I'm counting. Yeah, I have to command the. I'm a light being. I don't live in your time. Everybody else lives in time here. Okay, so I'm able to do to do this because I don't live in time. I'm not controlled by aliens. That's why I never have been. A, I'm a light being. I come from source energy directly. I don't come into your reality. I live here because I chose to come to do ascension for people. So any comments out there? Okay, that's good. Yeah, I haven't done it to anybody out here yet, but just come up here. Okay. Okay. I'm a light being. Uh, my whole life. Yes. No. You're controlled by aliens. Aliens are controlling your lives. But uh, you, if you keep doing the mind to heart drop that I that I teach people to do, then all of a sudden you can become more centered and be in peace. Okay. Everybody else want to do this process? Yes, lady back here. Okay, okay, the lady's asking, when you jerk at night, yeah, you're under attack, you're being uh, prodded, poked with pins or whatever, your body's responding to being jerked. You ever see a baby jerk and squirm? They're under attack by the aliens. Okay, yes? Everybody seems a little bit confused, so maybe I can explain something. Yeah. I've been studying with Roger for six years now. It took me three years to figure out what he was talking about. <laughs> and now I see it's right there. I've heard hundreds and hundreds of people say all kinds of wonderful feelings happen to them and everything he's talking about. What you what you probably don't understand, and this is the whole point, is he is a light being, not a light worker. You've heard that. This is a light being. Everybody in this show, everybody on this planet is working with mind and psychic energy. So when you talk about healing and all that, that's always psychic energy. Ron doesn't do any of that. It's like, here's the lower world where we live in, and then here's the top of time. All this is time and dimension, eight dimension, all the time. Ron comes from up here, source, where it all started, where everything came from. He is the only one, because he comes from there, that could use that energy and not psychic energy. That's why he can do just about anything. That's the difference between Ron and everybody else. Yes. Intellectually comprehend, but I do know for a fact that it does work. 
And so whatever he says, you may not comprehend it all in this moment, in this space and time, but it is effective and it does work. Thank you. Yes. I, I, cl- I cleared out 200 clones on one timeline out of about a thousand timelines. Okay? Remember, the aliens love you. They get your emotional energy. And so, what they'll do, let's say you have a bad day here. Just think of having a thousand bad days and you're replicated. Okay? Doing the exact same thing. And then the aliens now can feast off of you a thousand times. Okay? So like I said, people say, Ron, is there any good aliens? There's people in this, you know, different workshops and doing lectures and everything else. They talk about aliens and contact with aliens and writing books about aliens. Are they any good? I go, well, for me, I would say no. Only because they're in duality. Okay? They're in the same boat that you are, just at a different frequency. In a different dimension. In light, there's no dimensions. Okay, so... Uh, Stepping on people's feet here, possibly. Okay, uh, the the light will never channel through anybody. Number one. Okay, why is that? Because it'd be judgment. The light does not do angel readings, or doesn't do this, or doesn't do that. They, because the light only works in the now. The light has no predictions. They will say, when is gonna, when is when is ascension going to happen? Well, it's whenever the the light decides to do it, works in the now. So all your prophecies. All of the readings that people do, claiming that they're channeling maybe God, or which they, which they really are, they are channeling God, the aliens. Remember, all churches here are controlled by aliens. And when you pray to something and connect to something outside of yourself, then you're hooked up to an alien life form. Okay? So when you pray outside of yourself, you're at pray, P-R-E-Y, to what you're praying to. You're hooked up. And the churches love that because they want to have, because they're all alien-based. So we have uh, people talking about the end of the calendar, the Mayan calendar in 2012. doesn't exist in light, but here it does exist, okay? So it is real. So since now you know a little bit about time and that time can be changed, are the Mayans that were killing people on the pyramids, right? Right? Sacrificing all these people cutting their heads off and pulling out their hearts and drinking their blood, etc., right? Maybe they're just one second away from you in 2012, and they're going to abduct you and do that to you. Think about that. We think it as linear time, okay? They can change time. The aliens that are controlling them, that race of people doing that back then, could reappear now and do that to you. Did I lose anybody? Okay. So do you want to follow a prophecy of a religion that's going to kill you? I don't see any hands up here. No volunteers. Okay. So I'll talk about, uh, quickly, then I'll get back into this here. I'll talk about the time-traveling soldiers that are here to fight the aliens. So what they have done is the, uh, the founding fathers that are living, that created the Constitution here, uh, are on timelines. So you've all seen movies in the last probably 30 years. I think maybe Back to the Future was one of the original ones, right? A long time ago. Then we have you know the Terminator, and everything since then now is basically somebody time traveling, you know, source code and stuff like that, going back from the future, coming back here to try to save the planet. Well, that's all true. True reality. Battle L.A. is is you know one of the big ones that was shown what a year ago or something. That's true. <coughs> They just didn't get it right, you know. They showed us winning, <laughs> but but the uh, but the uh, but the uh, military has enlisted or taken all the people from. Start over again. All the people probably who was in battling other countries or whatever from about 500 A.D. to now, and we just talk about maybe the Iraq War, Vietnam, World War One, you know, the Korean War, World War Two. All those soldiers that are in boot camp, okay, at that time are fighting the aliens. They just stop time. Maybe they ask them, say, you know, World War II is over. You want to re-enlist? Do you want to do something else? Oh, yeah. 
you know, you're, they're under, you're under the control of the military, right? Because you signed up. So they take them from that time, we'll say World War II, say 19, what, 43, we'll say, and transport them into like the 2100s and beyond, train them with alien weaponry, and shot them back here just outside of our timeline right now in this real time. And they're fighting aliens as we speak. So I'm doing an enlistment program tonight at 8 o'clock. I don't know what room it's in, unfortunately. Anybody have any idea? Is it the, uh, I should have wrote it down, but anyway, it's at my booth. I'm not on the schedule, no. I'm, out, I'm outside of the, I, I, I should have been on the addendum, but the addendum was not made, so. <laughs> it must have got lost in time. Yes? Aliens are, are other life forms, typically of darkness, that don't have a spirit or soul in them. Okay? I use the word spirit. And it could also be people like we have on this planet that decided to switch over into darkness, not using hard energy. So, anyway, if you're interested in enlisting, I'll be doing a program for that. I'll bring the soldiers right in. In fact, you want to feel the soldiers? Because they're, they're basically just outside the room here. Here they come. This here is, get it correct here, United States of America, time traveling, special elite forces. Okay, that are fighting aliens. Here they come. They only come because they want to come. I can't command them, but they'll come in here because I, I, I help them. Okay, what happens is if they go out into battle and they get terminated by an alien, I have to put them back together again. I've got to find all the parts and recreate them because you can't lose anybody on a timeline. If somebody were to die on a timeline, then this whole process here that we're living would be zapped. That's why people who travel on timelines can't die on a timeline. So when they came back, see, if they were to die on a timeline, then they, they can't go back to the, the previous timeline. That's why they fight an alien, because they look back from remote viewing, we'll say, going back in time and experiencing maybe the, the 2150s, looking back and saying, gee, you know, if the aliens take over the planets in 2012, we're not going to exist out on our timeline, because we got transported from, like, say, 1943, to say 2150, and if they lose this timeline, there's no existence. You follow me? So that's why they're fighting aliens. And the, the whole planet here is fighting aliens, except for the Chinese. I don't know what they're doing, but they're not enlisted. I, I can't say that's bad, but they're just not doing that. Uh, every other country that had a military force is out there fighting aliens. And if you're enlisted now, uh, and maybe uh, a police officer will say, possibly, uh, for sure the, uh, the military energies right now, you are fighting aliens whether you know it or not. Okay? So I'll bring in the soldiers. So this is the, the, the uh, special forces coming. You're going to feel the energy. It might feel kind of heavy. Well, these are people that look like you, okay? And they may be about 20 years of age because they are in their boot camps, okay, at that time. You might see Civil War people, possibly. You're going to actually probably feel their energy. And you're, I'll bring them into the room here. Here they come. One, two, I'll count to five, three, four, and five. There. Feel a shift in the room here? How many people felt it? Want to raise your hands? Okay. So they're here now, just around here hanging out. Okay. Look at them stronger. Here we go. Stronger, stronger, stronger. Yeah, give them a little more frequency here. Stronger, 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 and stronger. There. Is that better for you? But they're not going to materialize because they'd probably scare the hell out of you. Yeah. You feel them? Uh huh. What are their weapons? What weapons? They're, uh, it depends. If they're. We'll say that it's a, a World War I uh, soldier. They're going to have just a basic, probably, rifle, right? Where a newer person might have rockets or something. Or if you go back, maybe, uh, to some uh, people, they might have, like, bow and arrows. Well, all these shoot out light. This is source light. So as you're pulling their trigger with the regular w weapon, they're shooting out source light that will terminate aliens, okay? Now, the, these weapons that, that is from light don't respond to the laws of time. So it's much like if you're playing baseball and, and somebody throws you the ball, you can see the ball coming towards you, right? Well, it's light, it's instant. So they can watch the alien weaponry come to them, 
trying to terminate them, and a lot of them, uh, what I'm used to, are in spacecraft, we'll call it, okay? So the, the spaceship actually takes the hits, and it just goes away, or they terminate the energy. But once they shoot back at those aliens, they're terminated instantly. They don't even know what's happening, because they're out of time. So there's, there's a lot going on. It may sound kind of weird. But uh, remember, all, all your sci-fi movies that you've seen are probably going to be real. Okay? What's that again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Uh, I don't know any, any intel on that. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, one. You talked about the clouds. Ship clouds? Those remind me of the clouds at Mount Yeah, that's aliens. Not as much now. About 95% of the, uh, the ship clouds in, uh, in Mount Shasta are, are terminated. They're gone. Whenever they come into the mountain, that's where I live. They come into the mountain and they kind of start to creep on the mountain and then they get terminated. A few may land on it, but uh, not like it used to be. I terminate them. Okay, I'll just talk about 11, 11, 11. That's your program. Okay, whenever you get sequential numbers, the aliens are remote controlling you, your body, little, little hand control, right? Have you turn left, turn right, right? And then all of a sudden you zzz, look down, oh, get your eyes on the clock, oh, 11, 11, they got you. They're validating that you are programmed by sequential numbers. Is it a spiritual number? Of course, 11, 11 is spiritual, right? That's what they tell you. <laughs> Remember, what you have to realize is what you've been taught in this lifetime is a lie to you. You've been lied to a lot. Yeah, so, so anything that's, that's conse consecutive numbers or letters that you see all the time, that's what it is. So re ready to be decloned, everybody? Let's have another question. And I'm doing, yeah, uh, we got two, okay, we'll get those first. Okay, uh, this lady back here. I'm a light being. I came from source energy. I came here because I wanted to help people. I, I was a healer in Jesus 2,000 years ago. I was in his body when he did healings. Every healing that Jesus did, I performed. I had other people, other light beings in that body also. But when he, when I was in there doing the healings, that's what I can remember. Okay? And uh, that's why I came back, because he was killed about 15 years earlier than it's supposed to be. Supposed to be for like 15 years longer doing ascension teaching. So I came back this time to help people with the ascension and get rid of all the misinformation. There is a, a prophecy of me coming here uh, in the Talmud Emmanuel, and it talks about, th that's the, the real Bible, we'll say, that was brought forth, that was uncovered, and uh, I'm in that as far as, I always just talk about 2,000 year cycles and stuff, and that's what Jesus talked about back then, because he knew about the time traveling. So aside from that, I don't want to get into myself too much, that I don't deal with that, I want to help you people. Cool. Yes? That's correct. Well, I'll be doing a workshop on Monday to help people. I'll be having this on my website uh, probably within a couple of weeks, maybe. We'll see. And uh, you'll be able to go there and, and do a, a clone decloning process to make you real. Okay. Ready to be decloned, everybody? So here we go. You guys people want to sit down over here? Okay. That might be more comfortable for you. Nothing to do, right? And, and look at the people around you before we do this here. Because the people that were decloned will have more energy than you do. Okay? And the people that weren't decloned are going to look plastic to the ones that were. So, here we go. We take all 200 clones, so the other people that came up here have a little added benefit of having another time at it. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is work on a timeline. Remember, they have about a, they have all different types of timelines. They have timelines probably for anger, timelines for uh, 
maybe self-abuse, addictions, etc. cetera. Uh, how does pain work? Do anybody have pain? Is pain a big one in here for people? Okay. Okay. Anger. Okay, so I can, whatever you want to do, uh, we'll just do that, okay? Otherwise, I'd be doing this for a long time. But uh, the main one I'll be doing is, is uh, pain, and then we'll do anger. Does that work for everybody? So, no, no, you have to check. I'll do them both. I'll do two of these, okay? But you have to check to see which one you want first. But we'll first do pain, okay? Remember, the pain that you have, if you have no pain right now, whenever you have pain in your body, it's with you. Energy doesn't leave you. And then when you get your next pain, it enhances. Okay? Here we go. Pain. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. How are you all feeling? Feeling a little more peaceful? Okay. Here we go. Next 100. Let me get some water here. We'll do some water charging after we do the clones here. Yes, I will ask, how many people got their, uh, their mind stretched here? <laughs> okay, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is 110. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200. Okay, how's your body feeling? You're just on the process of being human. Right, here we go. So the next clone's coming out and you're coming in. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There we go. How do you feel? Lighter. Lighter? Brighter, yep. Yep, because you have real eyes now. <laughs> the pain in your knee went away. Okay. Okay, now we'll do what? Uh, what was it? Anxiety? Was that what it was? Anger. Anger. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. There we go. How's that? Feeling less stressed? For me, it's interesting when I count because I have to remember what I talked about last to get the next number. It's complicated, believe me. So here we go. <laughs> Uh, 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200, Ready to become human? One, two, three, four, and five. There. Now, everybody look at each other in here. And you're going to notice that they're glowing, that they're all three dimensional, that they're, they look real. Probably the first time in your life to see real humans. Okay, let's do some water charging. So, everybody have a glass of water? If not, you can probably go out the back door there. Younger? Great. Doesn't matter. So wait a couple of minutes here. Any other questions out here? Yes. Where is Jesus? Jesus is, uh, he comes into me off and on. 
He's on the light ship. He's on he's in source energy. When Jesus left this planet, we'll say uh, whatever age he was, okay? So we'll just say hypothetically when he left the planet uh, to play it safe 1950 years ago, he's never returned here since. So what are you praying to when you pray to Jesus in a church? You are praying to the light of the darkness, Jesus, a cloned representation of him put out by the light of the darkness. Yes. Did Jesus come? No. I'm here in his place. There was a show called the Jesus Christ Show on Sunday. Are you aware of it? No. The guy is a regular guy, but he's really, really advanced. Good. On Sunday from like 7 to uh, 10 or 11. I'd be curious. It's on PFI. I don't live here, but I might try to tune into it on the internet. Somebody had a question back here? Yes, back there. Uh huh. You said that you terminate aliens, right? Yes, uh huh. And then you said that that can be terminated on a timeline. So how do you. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, what we do is we get the aliens that create the timeline. They are on a timeline, but they're they're outside of the timeline that you're on. You're not living on that timeline. If the aliens were to come here on this timeline, it would be a disaster. Okay, you'd first see all the military forces going after the alien ships. They'd be instantly gone. Okay? And then you have mass chaos here, and uh, that's why the governments don't want to talk about aliens too much. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have recall of, of your parallel lifetimes, yes, on, on the different timelines that you're abducted onto, yes. Okay, how, how you, the clone's changing you probably every 10 minutes, okay? So every 10 minutes, you're a different person. You don't know it because they freeze time on you, okay? And dreams is one thing, yeah. Whenever you have a dream, that's a timeline leaking through, bleeding through into the reality that you're, you know, experiencing. So deja vu is one, like I said, losing your, your keys, your purse, your wallet, or whatever. Uh, seeing cars materialize beside you out of nowhere. Uh, all different things like this here. Normally you just kind of see it and you have no way to, no, no place to put it. So you just think that, you know, something's wrong with you because you didn't see that car that was there. It was in my blind spot, you know. That's because either you got beamed down or they got beamed down into this reality here. And they can also copy and paste timelines. And they can also take the timeline and go back on it and erase what's there. You know, <coughs> just think of the computer technology or, or film editing, okay? And they can change things. So what's real, this may sound a little freaky to you, is the room next door here and this room over here and the, the thing behind me that you, that you physically cannot see is it there. It's only there to you because they're not going to materialize it when you're not there. If you can see it, they'll materialize it. Now, if somebody's out there walking in the hallway, it will be materialized for them, but not for you. So wherever you go with your eyes, since our eyes see things, that's going to be materialized for you. But what's behind you is not going to be there. Uh, with your third eye, that's probably another bleed through of mind energy. And the mind energy will be what they're... What what you're connecting to, not that that's going to be invalid to you, okay? It's still going to be another way of seeing, but it's still mind energy. Well, th then your reality is different. You probably have a, a more truer reality when your senses are taken away. Yes? Uh, in regards to timelines, what about the rotation of planets around the sun? Is that all? That's self fabricated. In fact, are your stars real? What's the old song? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Hello, people. So, uh, astrology is the alien's way to connect you to the timelines, which give you your predetermined life path. You can change it. 
but most people don't change it because they live the life of what the aliens want you to live. Remember, you're time controlled. You're brainwashed here. You have robotic programs. That's why you see sequential numbers all the time, like 1111 or whatever you see. Uh, I can go on forever on these uh, you know, workshops, but let's do some water charging. So we'll take you up to the light ship here. This is source energy. This is where Jesus took people for healing. So this is a ship. We'll call it a ship that materializes into physicality. You may see it, you may not. But I'll bring in the dolphin energy into this room here. So your, your frequency will change a little bit here as you're on the light ship with the dolphin. So here we go. I'll count to five to bring the dolphins into this room. You have water? Great. One, two, three, four, and five. And just hold your glass of water. You might feel your hands buzzing a little bit, tingling. That happens. And the dolphins are here to activate your water. On the light ship, uh, the energies there have to have physical form to communicate to you. So we have animals and uh, different minerals and trees and things that are on the light ship that we recognize. Otherwise, it would be alien creations of light and you don't want to really see something else that might kind of scare you because you may see something you might see a human with uh, ten legs on it which could be a creation by something of the light nothing's wrong with that just that you wouldn't understand it so I bring in life forms that the spirits that are still there that haven't left the light ship yet will help us out through the process of energizing and doing healings on us okay water is completed have some water, see how it tastes. You drink the whole thing? Yeah, that, that's pretty common. So when you drink the water, if you notice, you're not sampling the water when it goes into your mouth. Am I correct? This goes right on down. Okay, so this water is compatible to you right now. And it has, we'll say, uh, using the code kind of loosely, it has light codes in it that's designed for you. A lot of the stuff in metaphysics uh, that they talk about, uh, a lot of people use the same word to describe something that's completely different. So I have to use vocabulary here that is probably overused, but it's different. Okay, what next? Uh, I'll, I'll do a robotic program. Yes. Yes, everybody. Uh huh. So that's a lot of aliens in a lot of ways. So I said there's thousands of aliens controlling people, yeah. People just talk about, well, the Pleiadians are out there, are they good, you know? And then you have the Elohim, and you have uh, Elohim. And then you have the Octurians, and you got the Greys, and, you know, the Reptilians. Well, that's just what people know about. There's thousands of them. And they, they do timeline sharing. So maybe the. the the biggest, baddest, smelliest alien buys a timeline for two hours, we'll say, and then they sell it to other aliens to abduct you on. You know, it's mass marketing, and, you know, it's, we just look at the way we live here, you know. <laughs> they want to get your energy. They're living off of your energy. Okay? Uh, this lady here. What's that? Stay in your heart. I'll do a mind to heart drop. Here we go. It's on my website. This you can do yourself. And I count from 10 to 1 backwards to command. You have to command your spirit, first of all. Remember, if you don't use your spirit in anything that you're doing on a command, it'll be the darkness working with you, the light of the darkness. Okay? So you have to command your spirit to take your awakening thoughts to drop them into your heart center. And then you're at peace. Everybody wants peace. So you get all these books, get all these meditations, get all this stuff going on with you, all these transmissions, you know, and uh, bringing in more light. All you want is peace. So everything in your head, everything outside of yourself is darkness. Teachings of Jesus, go within. Kingdom is within, period. Here we go, dropping down. This you can do yourself. I'll stop halfway. And for those of you who are a little more intuitive, you can actually feel your thoughts in your throat. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 
7, 6, and 5. Okay. What was your thoughts? Think a thought now. It won't be up here. It'll be in your throat. Right? Here we go. We'll continue on now. <laughs> so uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're in your heart center. I'll do it about four more times here. Dropping down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'll do a few more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're in your heart. Now if you notice, you can't have a negative or positive thought. Try to think now. You're in peace. That's why the light doesn't channel, okay? The light cannot channel, does not communicate with you. All it is is peace energy. Everything else is duality, which is judgment. Yes? So what do the aliens do when they die? They get your bones, get your DNA out of your body, make a replica of you, and you're someplace on a timeline. So you probably want to be cremated. Now, what they do with your spirit is they take your spirit to the light of the darkness, okay? Have your past life review, the other side, right, where you see the light. People talk about seeing the light, seeing Jesus, seeing this, seeing that, all the relatives. Well, of course, they're all over there just like you are. You're stuck there. And then you pick the best of the worst parents, and you get reincarnated down here again. With, and they clean your spirit up because your spirit is contaminated with darkness. It takes on what you are. It takes on the emotions. So they have to clean off your spirit, deprogram it. Then you come back into a body, brand new. That's why a baby looks so nice. While they glow with radiance, right? They don't have any contaminations yet. They haven't activated the DNA in the body to start your, your life spiritual lessons of the land, land of darkness, okay? Because your lessons are in your DNA. So the aliens really set you up good. They gave you DNA in your bodies. You can never get out of it. Never, never get away from it. And I'm sure nobody in here conceived a child when they were 80 years of age after working on themselves for their whole life and involved the emotional traumas, right? Nobody's done that, right? Your parents didn't do it. So you got their load. You got your ancestors' load. So that's what the aliens gave you is your DNA to to uh, sabotage you. My DNA is almost all, all turned off in my body. That's why I can do healings. That's why I say never become a healer. If you become a healer, you're going to be dead probably between the age of uh, 50 to 60. Because you will take on and activate in your DNA everything that's attached to you from the other people. If you deal with somebody who has a heart condition, you don't have a heart condition, your DNA will become activated and you'll probably get a heart attack when you get older. If not, you'll die of one of those people that you helped. Because they'll activate your DNA from the past. If you don't activate the DNA, it's dead, it's dormant. Once it comes forward, then you're on that roller coaster ride of that DNA lesson, experience. So I'll never become a, spirit, a, a healer. I have clearings to do that. Do you want to get rid of your emotions first? Under your whole lifetime emotional clearing, uh, I charge $5 times your age. Uh, then I knock out $50 for an expo special. Do it on, online, takes about 20 minutes to do. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what I have is a special, and the next clearing that you get after you do a uh, regular price clearing, then the next one's half price. The physical condition that you're dealing with now, I have a body jumpstart clearing. Uh, that's online, it has a bunch of clearings on it uh, to help you out. I'll be putting the clone he healing up here uh, shortly here that you can go online and do this here. How many are interested in coming to the Monday night workshop at 9 o'clock? It'll be fantastic. You're going to feel completely different. You feel better now, everybody? Yes. Okay. Of what? Yes. Yeah. Everybody think of an emotional issue right now. I don't need to do I don't need to do anything. I can work on thousands of people. I don't need to do one person. So, so everybody everybody think of an emotional situation that you had. Could be, you know, today, could have been, you know, when you're two years of age, you know, whatever you want to bring up, I'll clear it from you. Okay? Everybody have something? It's gone. Okay? Now look at it, and it should be pretty distant from you. You can still see it in Tatankala with the neon lights and everything else, you know. 
The movie's still running, but there's no charge on it. The light allows you to have an experience. That's what you're here to do is experience, okay? This, this used to be a light planet. The light's still here. Just that, uh, the darkness took it over. When was it created? How long ago? I don't know. Yeah. Another issue, everybody? Think of one. Gone. Think of another one. You ready? Gone. One more. Gone. That's how the light works. Instantaneous healing. So when I do these healings, you're on the light ship instantly, momentarily, and the light works with you, clears your situation. When I do a whole lifetime clearing, it's different than what I'm doing here. And I'm just picking, having you pick one issue because you have to judge yourself. The light doesn't judge you. If you, were to, if you were to come before the light and you said, fix me, I want everything fixed to my body, which everybody would like to have, right? They'll just look at you and say, oh, you're fine. You're, you're living your creation. So when I do a whole lifetime clearing online with people, you, they are taking you and erasing the negative charges on your traumas in this lifetime without you even thinking about them. In 20 minutes, your whole lifetime is cleared. You get rid of probably 95% of your storyline in this lifetime because you're living your storyline over and over and over again. History repeats itself. Okay, let's, uh, what else can I do? Yeah. Can you uh, remind everybody the meeting you have that is not on the schedule? Yeah, that's, that's tonight to enlist at 8 o'clock. And I think it's in one of the Century rooms, Century, uh, Century C. Yeah. So if you want to... Uh, uh, I think it's the same room. I think it's the same room to enlist. Oh, yeah, I do have a, a card here for radio programs. They have over probably, uh, I don't know, 800 shows or so on archives on BBS radio. I'm on a new one, which is called Rumor Mill. Uh, a three-hour show uh, starts at, uh, it's on the microeffect.com. Uh, uh, and that's from 6 to 9 on Mondays. So I do instantaneous healings on, on all the programs and talk about the light ship a little bit, as uh, much as I can. Time goes by really, really quick. But you can grab some of these, too, if you would like that. And my booth is 201. If you haven't been into the light infusion chamber, go into it. It's, it'll change your life. It's, it's just wonderful. So how much time do we have left? Ten minutes or so? Twenty. Okay. Uh, what's in the program guide for me to cover? See, I live in the moment. We have to figure out what to put in there, you know. <laughs> if I want any more literature, I have some more literature. Right. That more than about What's that? What is important about 2012? You don't want to be abducted. You don't want to be taken to a timeline sideways. Uh, on my website, I have a free clearing, which is the 2012 uh, clearing, which is an, like an abduction clearing. You can go on there and get that. So whatever you've heard about 2012, you're welcome. Whatever you've heard about 2012, once you get hooked up to it, like praying, you become prey to it, they will abduct you sideways into a reality that you know nothing about. And that's the sad part. Yes? Okay, so how to change your reality. Uh, okay, you, you're, you're all running a program. Okay, you're, you're all programmed in running a pro just like your uh, experience, and, and they're in charge of that program. On my website, I have what's called a psychic billboard clearing. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go back a little bit. The New Age Metaphysics people talk about, yeah, the, the big thing is to how your thoughts control and create your reality. Well, that's true in the land of darkness. But that's like the banking system, you know. Whatever you want in your life, somebody's probably going to lose on it. 
and you may get your reward just like fine on your parking place, okay? So you have to get somebody else to move their car for you to get there, right? So that's the battle of the minds. And that's what they talk about. So you don't want to do that system. You don't want to use your mind control to uh, put spells on people to get them to, you know, work with your, you know, free will, which you're using against the light. So you're using your, your source energy of you to project a darkness energy going into other people's energies. Remember, you, you, the light that you still carry, that you still have a little spark of light, is still very powerful, even though you may be deluded. But you don't want to use that along with mind energy to harm people. So how do you change your reality? Okay, on my website I have a clearing, I think it's $20 for the month, and it's a psychic billboard clearing. And in that I have three different uh, boxes. One's where you are now in your life, whatever that would be. Uh, so you change that in the next box, I think underneath it, to what you want it to be. So that's how your mind's affecting your life. Remember, you're using your mind to affect your life. And you want to change that. It's just a program. So you can't use a dark side program because it's just strictly a program. It doesn't have any energy on it. Next one is what are other people imprinting for you? You see? And how are, is that mind control energy from all of your friends affecting you? They put you into a box, right? How do you get out, out of the box that they put you into? That they're very strong on their mind energies. That's how people do spells and, you know, curses on people. Okay? The next one is what the aliens are doing to you. So you can change all of those and then use that program to change your reality. Then you want to check it probably every uh, two days. See what's happened to you in your life. Because people read you psychically. They use the mind energy to read mind energy. Like attracts like. So they're going to enhance and with your, with your self-fulfilling prophecy bring to you what you are emitting around in your auric field. Yeah, you, 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 uh, you take the box initially, you find out where you are in your life, you know, and let's just say you want to get a job and you can't get a job. You've been trying to get a job for six months. You don't know what's happening. Well, you go in there and maybe your last boss didn't like you and is always thinking bad thoughts about you. Now that's being transmitted to you on a psychic courting and you're involved with that person. You don't know about it, but you go into a job interview and your boss is transmitting to you on your billboard around you, right, that you're a bad employee. You go in to get the job and they read that, you know, they read your resume, but they look at you and they go, oh, bad employee, you know, it's being flashing to the person, right? You don't get the job. So I have a psychic billboard clearing. What I have weekly for $20, if you're interested in having some clearings, on the telephone, okay? Uh, on uh, Wednesday night, these are all at 5.30, uh, and that call lasts probably about two hours. It lasts until my voice runs out. <laughs> but I do a decording call on Tuesdays, and then on... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Tuesday. Wednesdays I do water charging. Okay. And then Thursdays... I do uh, the cloning. They're twenty dollars, so it's about two hours of decloning. and we probably go through. I don't know. Do you know, Larry? You're on the call. How many clones do we normally get out on the decloning calls? Okay. So that's on. Thursdays for 20 bucks. That'll last uh, Thursday. It'll be probably about two hours. And then Friday I do entities. And that's going to be a one-hour call because I have radio programs to do and stuff. And then I have the rumor mail on Mondays from 6 to 9. That's, that's brand new. A three-hour radio broadcast on the Internet. Yes? Everybody's been abducted. Everybody. Everybody. have to keep doing clearings to get out. They only want you because you're emotional. You're, 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 abducted, you're, you're abducted every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes you're abducted. You're out on a timeline. Yes? 
All they, all they want from you is your emotional energy. When you get angry, when you get happy, either way it's emotions. They don't care if it's negative or positive, but normally they have people more on the negative side of things. <laughs> you know? Because, <laughs> you know, you get really frustrated. Yes? I've always had three cars on business all the time. I've always hit 20%. There's two of them that haven't happened yet, and they've all traveled. What happens if I just choose to not travel and experience it? Yeah, it's very hard to get out of their system. See, I'm in the now. I'll, I'll take you where I live. Okay, I'm the first. I'm gonna stop time for you on your timeline. Okay, now you're all in different timelines. Maybe this person here has a bad back, so he's on the bad back timeline. Uh, maybe the lady behind him is on a timeline, uh, maybe for regret or something. She's on the regret timeline. Maybe the person over here is on heartache, heartache timeline. Let's see, we're all on different timelines. Okay. And uh, then they replicate you maybe a thousand times, and the aliens do the time selling, timeshare selling, right? You know, they're very smart, right? You know, you know like, like the condos that you can get, you know? <laughs> and so they're all sharing timelines to other aliens. And now they go, oh man, this guy here is wonderful, man. He has all this pain in his body and everything else. And man, they go, oh man, he's in demand. So all these alien races now are coming to, to pay their money to get on your timeline, okay? And then they can go sideways with them and tangents, all different types of things. I won't get into what they do to you besides what you think you're having done here. But that's a whole different story, okay? Uh, so, but let's, uh, let's take you, what was I going to do now is going to take you off of, uh, uh, out of time. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? So I'm going to stop the alien timelines. I'll count, I'll, I'll count to five so you can feel it slow down. I'll, I'll do ten. Here we go. You're going to feel the, you're going to feel the clock that's slowing down. And you'll notice that everything around you, you're not going to be quartered to. Right now you're quartered to everything because everything's in time. Everything, that, everything here is created in time. This is a time-based reality creation. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There. Now time has stopped for you on the timeline that you're living on. How do you feel? More relaxed? Mm -hmm. You're not hooked up. Slow. Your clock is still moving, but you're out of time. So this is what the New Agers talk about being in the now. They don't know about source energy. They just know about being in the now. Okay. They may use eternal now or some of the words, but they don't know about it because they're still living in duality. Okay, now I'll put you where I live. Okay, ready? I'll count to ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There. Now you're out of time. We try to get a thought right now, like what I say, I have to remember what I'm talking about, okay? You won't, you won't have anything from the past to haunt you. <laughs> because you're controlled by time. You're clearing, so you get out your, clear your DNA of all your stuff so you can have the opportunity to do that. You don't want to meditate, typically, if you go out of your body. You only the mind a heart drop. The quickest way to become centered is, as I did, counting from 10 to 1. 20 seconds, you're there. Do it every day. But if you start doing it a lot, you can lose track of time. Now, you're in a time-based reality, right? So you've got to show up someplace or pay a bill you better get a, a day planner and remember to use the day planner. So there isn't any higher, lower, or middle self. Oh yeah, that, that's another New Age teaching. We'll bring in more light to you. You've got to connect to your higher self. And, you know, there's no such thing in light. It's all light. But there was a, a, a duality or, or diversity or a system of light, then it would be judging itself, right? So there's no dimensions in light. There's no such thing as a higher, everybody goes, I'm going to get my 
a higher self guidance over here. What's outside of yourself? What's outside of yourself? The aliens. Okay? When they get hooked up, just pray outside of yourself. They're 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 with their fishing poles waiting to get you. Using, using chum, yes. Just about everybody believes we have to suffer and learn and experience and go through things in order to evolve. What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah that that's their scheme of things, having you learn lessons. Remember, remember, Buddha came to tell you that there's karma, that you want to clean it out of your body. I think his teaching got kind of askewed a little bit, but he came before Jesus to jumpstart people so that when Jesus came, he could do the ascension. People would say, oh yeah, I know about that. We've got to clean our body up before we have children. you are devolve our densities so that the children will be able to do the ascension process. The ascension is just leaving here. Happens every two thousand years. It's a it's a, a small time using time, a small window of opportunity to leave here with your body physically. But you can't leave here if you don't have densities taken out of your body. Lee, I was talking to you about uh, an hour or so ago. She goes, "Ron, all you talk about is doom and gloom." I go, "Well, I just talk about reality. What, what you know? What's here? What what you have to do? You know." You have to clean your body out. If you're in misery, get it cleaned out. You could get, do the emotional clearing. Do some clearing. Do a pain clearing. Yes? Were these souls aliens created by souls? No. No. So you have... Very good question. So what you have... On, on one side here you have the land of darkness. These are life forms that have no spirit or soul. A black widow is a good one. That's one of the, the newest uh, alien wars that we had uh, last last uh, Sunday and Monday, basically. Anybody feel weird last Sunday and Monday? Okay, that was an alien attack happening and the soldiers knocked him out. Very strong. In fact, what they had to do is that they were so strong coming. The, the, the Black Widow energy, instead of using the, the, the poison that they you know, bite you with, they put it like in the, in the air, like a mist. So that leaked into our reality here. So what the tra time traveling soldiers had to do, we had to go in there because it was so bad. They had to take the soldiers and, that were enlisted, okay, and go five minutes after they were enlisted in time and re-enlist them over again. That make sense to you? So now they got double the forces out there, and then th they took out the uh, the Black Widow energies. Does it ha that's the newest alien war that we had. But they're doing right now, I don't have any intel on it. So I have a lecture coming up uh, in uh, the 2 o'clock. And I'll be continuing on here if you want to come to that. I don't want to take all your time up at the expo. It'll be a century something, century C maybe or something? Century C. But by all means, if you can, if you can enlist... Enlist tonight. It's real, real beneficial. I don't know how much time I have left, left, but I have to do that. And come to the light infusion chamber. Uh, what is it? Uh, oxygen. Okay. The, the aliens give you the oxygen. I'll, I'll change that. Ready? Everybody t t take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale a few times. And I'll take away the oxygen that the aliens are giving you with the negative stuff in it. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, and five. There, this is the alien energies. It's now released from you. T take a deep breath. You're going to have a different oxygen that you're breathing right now. That's part of the mind control stuff they're giving you. Yes? Yeah, different colors too, yeah. I use colors because people can relate to colors. Am I being affected by them? Yeah. I, 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 I'm always affected by them, yes. I, I, I'm an alien headhunter. Just like us. <laughs> uh, more than you, probably. I, I'm 24-7 online, working uh, instantly with the, the, the military forces, bringing them back to life again, fighting the aliens. Uh, as I'm here, I bilocate. I, I probably bilocate many, many times. And so... Uh, What's that? Constantly. Constantly, yeah. Yeah. They want my butt. 
I'm working with the underground, um, the, the time traveling soldiers, yes, uh huh. On the surface here, probably nobody. They don't really understand it. Uh, uh, I do get uh, agents coming into my lectures at times. Uh, when I was doing my radio program, and I was talking about uh, the, the actual uh, name of the program was Gray Skies. So I'm dealing, and I put Gray Sky Clearing on my website. It's a free clearing. I've, I have about five or six free clearings. Use them. It'll help you immensely. Uh, but uh, I'm doing these BBS radio programs, and the whole room that I'm in with my telephone in front of me, you know, speakerphone, it's like you can feel the, you know, the, all these remote viewers. I probably had from all the different countries and everything else. They say, What's happening underground? You know, they're trying to figure this stuff out. And so, so I finally get it, and, and I deal with two, two uh, people. Uh, one is CIA that almost materializes, and, and then I have, well, actually three. I have one that's in brown and one that has a bunch of badges and stuff on him, you know, who knows what he is, some kind of high general or something. And they come in, and they, they try to get me to talk. So whenever I say anything that's dealing with government stuff, they kind of show up, and they try to like, get me to say things, but uh, I'm like, I can say what I want, but I kind of listen to them at times when they do show up, okay? When I bring the little, I'll bring the ball in here. This is one of the CIA things here. But uh, where was I a minute ago? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so I'm, always, I'm dealing with aliens continuously. Is it true that the police in Washington, D.C. I, I have no idea on that one. Very possibly. The, the, uh, all the earthquakes. Uh, that, that, yeah. That could be one of the underground stuff. What I'll do is bring in one of the CIA, CIA uh, spy balls, okay? So uh, I got, I'm checking right now with them. Yeah, they're, they're right here. You want to see them? You know, ask them to, to show up here. You're going to see a CIA, CIA officer showing up here, man, okay? These are from the underground, okay? Not, not the negative underground. There's all different types of fashions of stuff happening here. And then I'll bring in the other... The uh, guy in the uh, the dark blue with all the little badges there, they're right over here. Do you see him? Feel their energy presence? You do? Okay. So I'm going to bring in the the ball that's, uh, I'll bring in the old technology that was here probably uh, maybe uh, 40 years ago. This is the size of a grapefruit, and it has cameras on it and microphones. So I'm going to put it uh, right, right here. I'll have them stick it right on my hand here. Okay, there it is. So they can spy on anybody, anywhere, okay, with this thing. Now the new one, you guys see it? I'll move my hand here. It'll be floating right here. There, it's right there. You guys see it? Can you feel the energy on it? The new one is the size of a golf ball. Yeah. Just checking out. Okay, we'll get this to go away here, and we'll bring in the new one, the little golf ball one. Ten minutes? Oh, that's great. we got some time left. We slowed time down, so, so there's the new one. It's, it's kind of floating right here. That, that, that's the new one. Did you mention the founding fathers? The founding, yeah. Yeah, can you elaborate on that? Yeah. They're, they're time travelers. And so they're still living the way they looked when they made the Constitution. And so they want freedom here. They want freedom for the planet. No, he's not. He, he, yeah, yeah. The ones that, yeah, yeah, what they wanted was to give free will, free choice to everybody. Sovereignty. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, sovereignty, individual sovereignty. That's just fighting the aliens. Depends on how much uh, the light can work to get them out of here. You see, uh, the light, okay, the light never chases darkness. The light will only act when the darkness, I'll oh, get them to remove it here. There, they'll get it out. So I don't worry about stuff too much. <laughs> so, the, uh, so the light does not chase darkness, but it will get it, it will go after the darkness if the darkness attacks the light. Because the light is being taken by the darkness. So you have to understand that. People say, why can't the light do this? Well, it hasn't been attached. So what happens is, or attacked. It ha so the soldiers are down there to bring forth free will, free choice, which is what light is, okay? Even though they're killing things, okay? 
So the light doesn't really want to kill anything. You follow me so far? So these soldiers are down here to protect the earth from being invaded by aliens. So that's a no-no. So they're now out there fighting the aliens. So if anything happens to, to those forces or they need to have any kind of backup, the light's in there instantly to terminate the aliens. Now the, the, the soldiers have source energy with them to, de to destroy the aliens. Okay? But the, the light's always there, source energy's always there to get rid of aliens. But they need uh, somebody to do the work like a conduit. So it's not going to come here on its own to do anything. But it will protect its sovereignty of being light. Because when the aliens come to attack and take away the light and put it into darkness and steal it, then they shouldn't be doing that. And that's what the, the, the soldiers are fighting for, even though it's, it's a negative type of situation. That makes sense to everybody? Did I, did I say it properly? So light here is to help you, but it can't help anything until it's attacked. And the soldiers will go out there with the, uh, you know, to fight the aliens that are invading here. I don't believe any of that. Mind energy. Well, I don't. I don't get into that. I don't. I don't do any book reading or anything. I don't. I don't. I just fight aliens. Alien headhunter. They go after your pet show. Yep. Whatever they can cause problems with you on and everything else, they'll do that. Yes. Hard, yeah, that's yeah. It's really it's really hard to find that line of what you're doing and what they're doing for you or to you. When you're in peace, th then you know that you're in source energy with your spirit. Yes. How much rest do you need for that? How much what? <sighs> sometimes I've had a couple of hours. Uh, sometimes it, it varies. You know, depends what I'm doing. See, every clean on my website is going through my body. That's why I have a little bit of weight on me right now. So I'm about, you know, maybe 20 pounds or so overweight. Are they trying to kill me? All the time. Yeah, I got hundreds of bar barcodes on me, death barcodes. In fact, if you're, if you're not feeling well, I have an alien death barcode on my website. It's 150 bucks, and then you get a free uh, uh, alien, it's a stress death barcode. You have barcodes put on you, and those barcodes will kill you. That's in your natal chart. They set you up to die, right? They made you live, right? <laughs> they had you born, and now you have death. Well, uh, when you hit a barcode, your life force starts to leak out of your body. You start losing your life, your will to live. And then your body shuts down. So most people uh, will have at least three. Some people have had maybe ten. Do that clearing. It takes two hours per barcode. And it's one price. Some people think, oh, geez, 150 bucks per barcode. No, you, whatever you have, you can send me an email and say, how many barcodes do I have? I want to do a barcode clearing. And all of a sudden, you're going to get your energy back into your body. Can you tell how many barcodes this person has? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Instantly, yeah. So there's no good aliens that are going to come and save us from ourselves? <laughs> They like to believe that. I, I wish I was on the panel uh, the other day with the, uh, the the UFO panel or something, but you know, I'm on one tomorrow uh, at I think 11:30 or something. But uh, I'd love to be on one of those George Nori panels or something. But that's the good old boys, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. You have to stay inside. But, but That's it in a nutshell, but your spirit's not powerful enough. Your spirit's diluted. You only have a little grain of sand in you. Remember, yeah, you're... Abdu you no way that we can get here. Unfortunately, yes. 
That's why the light ship is here. It comes every 2,000 years. All I can tell you is they wanted me to do this here in 2005. I, I like hung my shingle up. I used to do healings all the time for people, and I thought, forget this. I'm just, people don't get what I'm doing. And so I hung it up, wasn't doing much, uh, off and on. Then they wanted me to come out in 2005. They said, we'll be doing this for three years. So the light at that point probably assumed that I would see enough people in that three years to be in auditoriums and stuff and doing mass healings on people. Well, the three years came and went, and I'm still doing it. And people are catching on a little bit. The source energy. Yeah, source energy. I came back here. I picked a body, came in, and I'm here. The, the masters, I would say probably correct, yeah. So I, I am a, uh, I guess a descending and ascending master continuously. That's why I can do these healings like this here. I don't have any DNA. I'm not from here. I don't live in your reality. Although I live here and I eat and I have troubles and problems. <laughs> and a daily life here, but, uh, you know, I live in the moment. Because we live in a monetary system here. Yeah, I have to live. I have to eat. I need, need vitamins. This expo costs money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> everything here has a price tag on it. Yeah, I have to put gas in my car. <laughs> yes. Yep, they're aliens, they're, they're, of, they're of darkness. They may think that they're of light. Remember, everybody who channels, okay, thinks they're getting, you know, all of a sudden you get tapped on your shoulder, one day you wake up and you go, oh my God, look at this thing up here, man, this is, this is it, this is the whatever it is, right? They, had, they wanted me to give this message to humanity. Well, a lot of that stuff could be pretty decent, but it's still, the light does not channel. The light cannot talk to anybody, doesn't, because you already have it with you. See, the common denominator of, of source energy is go within. You've got one minute to go. And that's your source energy is with your spirit. No, you have to drop, do the mind to heart drop. It could be meditation, but if you go out of your body, then you're going out. And that meditation is normally, you know, they have you go out with the guided meditation. Yes? Well, there is heaven and hell, yeah, but that's still in the land of darkness. And, and true light, there's no such thing. Light of the darkness that you're, that you're bringing in. Yep. Mm -hmm. What you do, you, you, you do the mind to heart drop, okay? And then you ask your spirit to bring those energies into you. Then they'll come in from light. Okay, if, if, if you use your head, it's going to be light of the darkness. Okay, remember, that's mind energy. They'll, they'll give you whatever you want. And if you need to get more books to understand, to learn about something, they'll give you a hundred books to buy and read. Until you, you know, until you finally get tired of reading, or you want to get more truth. And remember, there's always truth in something. The darkness copied the light. So there's always going to be truth there. But you're still stuck here. But where true source does not judge anything. And, and you always have it with you. But your spirit's so diluted from the clone bodies that you're dealing with. That's why I'm doing this, these clone exercises, because nobody on this planet could ascend if you're clones. Hello? Yes. One more question, then we'll have to go before they kick me out here. <laughs> yes? Huh? Why are you here? Somehow you uh, must have got hooked up to the wrong bus or something, you know? The, 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 tour guide, the, the, the tour guide must maybe is a beautiful woman or a handsome guy or something, you know? And you, you got stuck. Remember the, the song Hotel California? 
You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. But if, anyway, if you want to enlist uh, tonight, 8 o'clock, and I have a, another event, 2 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give him a round of applause. Oh.